What is going on guys? It's Sean O'Connell, the managing director here at Cinema Blend. And if you happen to see a lot of references to Ray Fisher and the DC character Cyborg on your social media timeline, it's because the people who are behind the Snyder Cut movement are celebrating the fact that today, April 3rd, 2020, was supposed to be the release date of the Cyborg movie. And that got me thinking. There's a whole slew of DC movies that we were supposed to get from Warner Brothers in some alternate timeline where Zack Snyder's universe of DC characters continued. And so these are some of the movies that we would have already enjoyed and a few other ones that we would be anticipating if that vision were intact. Before I get into all of those though, do me a favor and go down and hit subscribe, turn on your notifications because that way every time we post a new video here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, you'll be the first ones to hear about it. Even though everybody is talking about Ray Fisher and Cyborg, I want to rewind to the Flash movie, which technically was supposed to arrive in theaters on March 23rd, 2018. That's right, a long time ago, we would have enjoyed Ezra Miller as Barry Allen in The Flash. Now, we got to meet Ezra Miller in the Justice League movie. Uh, he was part of the team that Ben Affleck's Batman put together, and he was supposed to branch off and get his own feature film. Uh, Ezra Miller is still on the hook to play Barry Allen in an upcoming Flash movie, but we don't know if he's going to be joined by either Kiersey Clemens, who plays Iris West, um, or was cast as Iris West and never showed up in the Justice League movie. But we did see Billy Crudup, who was playing Barry's father and could actually come back for the Flash movie. Even though that movie went through a lot of different uh, false starts and production delays, it is currently on track for a July 1st, 2022 release date. And the new director is Andy Muschietti, who directed both It Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, and is transitioning from the horror genre to the superhero genre, but staying with Warner Brothers. So The Flash is coming as far as we know, just not in March of 2018, instead July of 2022. On this imaginary alternate timeline, we would be getting ready for Justice League Part 2, hitting theaters on June 14th, 2019. Now, Justice League Part 2 was going to be a sequel to this tragedy, um, but when it was announced, Justice League was announced as Part 1 and Part 2, very similar to how when Marvel announced the Infinity, Infinity War saga, they called it Infinity War Part 1 and 2. That ended up becoming Infinity War and Endgame. Well, Warner Brothers was super ambitious about about their Justice League project. They wanted it to be a two-part thing. They thought they were gonna have Steppenwolf in the uh, part one version, and it would tease the arrival of Darkseid for part two. Well, all of those plans got scrapped, and we may eventually see Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, when the Snyder Cut is released in some form, probably on HBO Max, um, and that will tease where he wanted that story to go, but we will never see, I don't believe, uh, part two of Justice League, although it makes sense for DC to have some type of Justice League movie in development later on down the pipeline, but I think they're gonna get to a few other projects such as an Aquaman sequel. We have Wonder Woman 1984 coming. Shazam is going to get a sequel. Maybe we'll get another uh, Henry Cavill Superman film. And all of that can build up to another Justice League. It just won't be that part two that we were going to see in theaters in June of 2019. On to the movie that has kicked off this video, which is Cyborg, scheduled to hit theaters on April 3rd, 2020 but not happening as far as we know. Ray Fisher played Cyborg or Victor Stone in the Justice League movie. He is an ex-Gotham football player who is horribly injured in a car accident and through the mother boxes is transformed into the cybernetic hero of Cyborg. And he, again, he was supposed to get his own solo film branching off of his work in Justice League. Nothing has really come of that though, and we haven't heard any developments in terms of Warner Brothers pursuing it any further, which is unfortunate because Ray Fisher hasn't found much work outside of his work in the DCEU. Uh, and he's a talented guy, and I know people are lobbying for him to find some success, but it, the longer we hear these delays and, and don't hear any movement in terms of Cyborg being used in a future project makes us wonder if that solo film will ever come back around. It's unfortunate too because you could do some really interesting things pairing him with some of the cool heroes from the DCEU, but it almost feels like if they were going to revive Ray Fisher's Cyborg, they would pair him with Barry Allen's Flash since they played off of each other so well in the Justice League films, uh, and maybe they'll work Cyborg into Andy Muschietti's Flash movie Movie, and then possibly springboard Cyborg into his own feature based on how they do in that film. Finally, in this perfect imaginary world, we would have not one, but two DCEU movies coming to theaters this year because Green Lantern Corps was scheduled to hit theaters on June 19th of 2020. Now, 
Needless to say, that never happened. And we have seen Green Lantern on screen before. Ryan Reynolds played him in a version of the character where people kind of liked what Ryan Reynolds did, but he was trapped in a really bad version of the Green Lantern film. The suit was a little bit wonky, the villain was completely wasted, uh, and that movie is one of the reasons why Warner Brothers thought they needed to start over with a more serious take provided by Green Lantern. However, Green Lantern is one of those characters who is getting further and further away from being a reality because you almost have to introduce him in another film uh, to give uh, fans an idea of what the Lantern Corps is. It's not as cut and dry as someone like a Superman or a Batman. You have to introduce some really um, space-themed extraterrestrial type powers that come with being in the Lantern Corps. I'm not saying they can't do it, but it feels like they're a few years away from setting it up. However, if you're working towards a Justice League film, you need the Lanterns involved, and so I expect to hear some movement from Warner Brothers in DC on a Lantern film eventually, just not in theaters uh, June of 2020. So the proposed future of the DCEU is totally different than what we're actually getting, but that doesn't mean that we don't have plenty of great DC films to look forward to. Uh, the Rock is working on his Black Adam film. Shazam is supposed to get a sequel. We know that Robert Pattinson is hard at work on the first of what we think is going to be a trilogy of Batman films. There could probably be endless Wonder Woman films with Gal Gadot uh, working on them, and of course Jason Momoa is teeing up an Aquaman sequel as well too. I do think that all of this is building towards another Justice League film, and of course Andy Muschietti is going to work on The Flash. So these projects are coming, they just aren't coming when we thought they were going to. But when you get to a date like April 3rd, 2020, when we thought we were going to get a Cyborg film, it is kind of fun to see the fan base sort of rally around these imaginary films, give support to the actors uh, who invested their time and their passion into the projects, and Ray Fisher deserves all of that credit for bringing Victor Stone to life on the big screen for the very first time. That is going to be what we're expecting from the DCEU moving forward, but what other questions do you have about the future of the Justice League, or even questions about things that have happened in the past. Go down to the comments section and leave me your questions. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. While you're down there, hit subscribe. Turn on your notifications. We're posting videos like this all the time on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, and we want to make sure that you guys get to see every single one.